You are not gonna believe why I was fired from a carry company. It's D Kid, I'm back again. We about to go ahead and win and get these dividends. Before we get into the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We only have 969 subscribers left before we get to a hundred thousand subscribers. And when we get there, we are giving away over one thousand dollars. So y'all go out there and pop your collar. So make sure you smash the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, because that's the only way you're gonna earn your chance to win some of those dividends. But to go out here and win, and guess what? After that, we gotta spin. But guess what? We are gonna do a story time. We are gonna do a story time before we pull up and get on the grind and go out there and shine. Guess what? We do this all the time. So welcome to the channel. Now, let's get into why I was fired from this carrier company. So I have been ripping around. I've been getting busy with this carrier company for a minute. Um, huge, I'm gonna say huge shout out to my guy Tyreek if you're watching this video. He is the person who actually told me about this carrier company. I finally got in that joint and I was going out there and get busy. And y'all was with me. If y'all was uh, subscribed before, then you saw me go out there and get busy with the carrier company. I always get a question though, why you don't do the carrier company? I think the person's name is Juan. He always asks about the carrier company. So let's go ahead and get into what happened with the carrier company. So I was getting busy with the carrier company and then guess what? They always wanted to do like promo videos for the company and also they had a referral program going on. So everybody always just asks me, what carry company you use? What carry company, what carry, what? All the time, what carry company am I using? Finally one day I'm like, you know what? I got a bright idea. Come to find out the, the, the idea wasn't that bright. Let me say that. I am like, I got a bright idea. At this time we are like 70, uh, 70 some thousand subscribers. So I'm like, look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach out to them and be like, look, y'all, y'all can pay me for a promo video and I also want the referral on the back end because I'm trying to go out there and win and get some dividends. Now, when I did this, I was trying to be slick smooth because I did not let them know the, the name of the YouTube channel. I just sent them a picture of it with the subscribers. I didn't send them the name of it or nothing. But guess what? They found it anyway. So they get to watching videos, watching videos, watching videos. Then one day I get this text message like this. Hi, Jerome. This is so-and-so with so-and-so. When would you be available for a Zoom meeting with me and the owner of the company about possible cooperation? Now, let me say this. I knew that they were trying to finesse because let me tell you what happened. First of all, let me tell you the good part about the uh, the company. It was app based. It was like everything was on the app and you could put in your bid right on the app. It's right there for you. It's right, you download the app to your phone. Um, you see a bid, I mean, you see a load, you want to bid on it, you bid on it. If you get it, they call you. If not, they may call you and ask you, can you go to a little lower or a little higher or, I mean, or a little lower? You might say yes or no and that's it, that's all. Honestly, it was good when I was working with this company. I ain't gonna sit here a lot on them, act like it was critical and all that stuff. It was low key sweet. Uh, we had small minor issues here and there about um, like how many items I'm supposed to pick up. Sometimes they'd be wrong. But with this company, you actually pretty much are leasing them your van. You still drive the van, but they leasing out the whole space of your van when you put all the stuff in the vehicle. So they pretty much can put however many items they want to put in there. And all of this was no touch free. For those of you who are new to the channel, you never seen me do a, a order from a carrier company, it's no touch free. So you just go there, pick the stuff up, strap it down, take it to the drop off, they unload it, and you get your pockets on swollen. And if you do have to unload by hand, you will receive $75 if you have to load and unload. So that's the good part about them. So, Previously, before they sent that message, I went on the app and guess what? That joint said OSS, mean out of service. So that means I cannot take any loads at that pause. I can't take any loads at that time. So I don't know what's going on. I reached out to them through the app and said, I'm like, hey, it said I'm out of service. It will not let me log in. Well, it still let me log in, but it will not let me take any loads or anything. It kept on saying, uh, out of out of service, out of service, right? They said that somebody's gonna reach out to me. So that's what happened. So then they try to finesse it. Now we're gonna go back to where we at right now. They try to finesse it and act like they want to collaborate with me on some videos and stuff. So since they want to play them games, that's what I told them. Unfortunately, I don't have time today. Can you send me some openings in your schedule for the rest of the week and we can set up something? So that's what I told them. Cause look, y'all ain't about to play these games with me. They said, okay, we will let you know ASAP. We'll keep you OSS since there are some concerns regarding compliance. So now you, now you didn't lie. First off, you said you want to do the collaboration video and do all that stuff. You want to uh, make something and get busy so both of us can make some money. And now you're talking about some, you're going to keep me out of service regarding compliance. 
I told them it's no problem. What other days are you available for the call? So they said tomorrow between one and five central. I said, since you don't have tomorrow morning, let's do Wednesday at 2 p.m. central. See now, see now at this point, I ain't gonna lie. I'm playing games with them. So y'all wanna play games, let's play. The thing about these uh, companies is they think that you need them. And you need to put yourself in the right position. If you don't put yourself in the right position, pause, then you're gonna end up doing whatever they tell you to do, however they will tell you to do it, whenever they will tell you to do it. No, I do what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, on my time. See, if I was in distress, if I ain't had no money saved up, if I ain't had no money going on, if I wasn't using the gig apps and using multiple gig apps, then they could just pretty much tell me and do whatever they want to do. But I ain't going for it. So, that happened. Then we finally got on the Zoom call. And this, they said on the Zoom call, right? They said on the Zoom call, they said they like the videos, you're a very good uh, driver and all this and all that. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Let's get to the point. Because either y'all, look, let's go ahead and get to it. So then they get to talking about some. We noticed that you do not have the company logo permanently attached to your van. It's like a sticker you put on the van, on your on your vehicle um, to let you know that you're with this company. Guess what? I didn't do, I did do it now at first. I didn't put it permanently to my vehicle. I put it on a magnet and then put it on the side of the van so I can take it on and off. Like if I'm doing a gig app, I don't want to show up with their logo on my van trying to get money. So I put it on sometimes and I take it off sometimes. So boom. I, so they asked me that I had it. I said, unfortunately, no, I did not have a permanently attached to my van. They said, well, if you're not gonna permanently, if you're not gonna permanently attach to your van, then unfortunately you cannot run with this company no more because our number one customer, which is one of these customers that I went to, I went to Iowa, I went to Iowa a few times, from here to Iowa, I got like 500. Our number one customer, which is John Deere, they said that they want people's stuff to be uh, permanently attached to the van. Some, some lie that they made up, I already knew they was lying. So I told them just like this, look, Unfortunately, I'm not permanently attaching that to my van. So if I can't run with you, I can't run with you. It is what it is. They said, okay, well, that's where we're gonna have to go where you're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to run with us. Then they gonna say, so maybe if you change your mind later on, maybe you could run regional or go over the road. I ain't doing none of that. Honestly, later on, some months later, they did reach out to me and ask me, did I wanna sign back up with them again and do regional or over? Absolutely not. Now, this is what I think. I think they were trying to pull a fast one on me. They they, they weren't trying to pull a fast one. They probably, they probably could've worked with somebody else. I wasn't going for it, but hey, look, I come from a certain place. You ain't about to finesse and think you, no. This is what they were trying to do, in my opinion. What they were trying to do is force me, first off, force me to go over the road, I mean, a regional, and then force me to put this stuff permanently on my vehicle so it can be on the YouTube channel so they can get the free promo and I'll pray for the promo. Absolutely not. I ain't going for it. Look, you run your business how you run your business. I run mine how I run mine. And you ain't going to force me and push me to do nothing. I'm going to do what I want to do. That's just it. That's just all. They tried to finesse. I wasn't going for it. So unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to part ways. And it is what it is. I ain't complaining about it. I'm still getting money. And I hope they're still watching this video. And that's the reason why I'm not telling y'all the, uh, the, the company right now. Because I definitely ain't giving them no, for, no free promo. I'm absolutely not. Y'all gonna have to pay. It is what it is. I ain't complaining about maintaining. Now, I do have another carrier company. You look, hey, these carrier companies come a dime a dozen. Just like the gig apps. A dime a dozen. They everywhere. You can find one. All you gotta do is go in Indeed, find you one. You go out there and get busy. Like we about to go get busy right now. I want the money, not the clout. Hey, y'all know what I'm about, getting this money. Now, we are about to do a load. Now, honestly, I don't really do that many loads from the carrier company because honestly, a lot of times they don't be worth it to me. I don't wanna be driving all the way over here and there and I can just give me uh, two or three rolling orders and get the same money in way less time. And by uh, less than an hour, I get the same money. But the thing about the roadie app is you sometimes you get the order, sometimes you don't. So it is what it is. You gotta take the good with the bad. Either way it goes, you gotta run up that, uh, run up that bag. Now, we got a load from the carrier company. We are picking up a load. We're gonna drive 128 miles and we will receive a payment of 300. I'm about to pull up and show you who won it. Let's go. We are here at the pickup so we can run it up. We're trying to get bucks. If you hate so what, baby? We about to uh, run it up. Mess around and run it up. Let's get busy, baby. You good right there. Finally got these joints strapped in. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can get it in. Let's go. We are here at the drop off. How you guys doing? I have a drop off to you guys from Glenview. <laughs> he just got that right. That'll work. Yes, sir. 
A few moments later. Step back and with the photo, you already know. Smack. Got that. Get this other one. Another one. Smack. Got that. Do you need to copy it? I'm good, buddy. Okay. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Y'all saw us go out there and get busy, and I'm glad you guys were with me. Now, we just made that 300. All together, it took us three and a half hours. That's from the pickup to the drop off and back home. All together, it was 223 miles. We went out there and went wild like Nick Cannon. Please don't try me. Comment below and let me know. Comment below and let me know the rest. If you know what I'm about to say after that, then you've been here for a long time. You've been here since I've been doing Amazon Flex, Flex, Flex. You've been here for that long. So cute shout out to you if you know what I'm talking about. But I appreciate all the love and support. We are almost at this 100,000 subscribers. And when we get there, I'm going to give away this money like it ain't funny. So before we go, I want to say this one thing. Don't be the I don't see us be a part of the crew. You already know what we're here to do. We're here to get busy. Again, I'm glad you guys are with me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be going, be going, be flowing. You already know it. The DDK, and I'm on my way.